here's some, some research from Pew Data uh, on sellers and what they think about selling a home. And what they think is that it sucks. This is what they think. This is sellers. One in five think selling a home is more stressful than planning a wedding. It's pretty crazy. Look at this one. 27% of sellers think it's more stressful to sell a home than go on job interviews. Look at this next one. This one blew me away. 13% of sellers would rather spend a week in jail than sell a home. And then check this one out. 36% of Americans cried at least once during the home selling process. I mean, this is terrible, right? Like, like people think that, you know, it sucks. And that is the narrative that is being purported out there now. And so we're fighting against this narrative that's being purported. And here's some other interesting tidbits. Here are the top four stressors for sellers. So 70% of sellers, they were stressed out about the uncertainty over what the sales price would be. Seven out of 10 stressed out about the uncertainty over the sales price. 69% were stressed out because they weren't sure if the home would sell within their desired time frame. 65% were stressed out about having to fix their home up to sell or having to make repairs. 65% of sellers were stressed out that an offer would fall through, right? You get that offer and you're excited because you got the offer now. And then you're on pins and needles wondering, oh, are we gonna be able to clear all these contingencies? Is everything gonna go well? Is the appraisal gonna come in? Is the inspection gonna go well? And so all of these things cause sellers a lot of stress. Here is something else that I found that was really insightful. 77% of sellers would give up 5 to 10% of their equity to avoid the hassle of a traditional sale. Selling your home the traditional way can be a long process. You have to set the price, second guess the price, prep the house, paint the house, recarpet the house, declutter the house. It's really cluttered. Decat smell the house, fix this. Replace that, toss these, get rid of those, list the house, pick up the toys, bake some cookies, have an open house, let strangers rummage through your closets, wait for an offer, freak out that you overpriced it, have another open house, get interrupted during dinner, Hello. leave for a showing, get an offer, lose the offer, get another offer, haggle, accept the offer, have inspections, fix more stuff, go into escrow, hope they don't bail on the offer, close a month later, and then realize, you could have had the same offer from Open Door months ago. So sell your house to Open Door and skip all the stress and uncertainty. Get your free offer in 48 hours at opendoor.com. Real estate is changing and homeowners are dealing with iBuyer companies and the irresistible allure of getting a cash offer for your home and selling instantly. This hook even got the better of one of our sellers. And I knew if we didn't adapt as real estate agents, we would slowly lose inventory and opportunities to these iBuyer companies and Wall Street money looking to tap into the $78 billion yearly real estate commission market. Hi there. I'm really excited to share with you today how iBuyers have redefined the seller lead and how you can take advantage of the secrets they uncovered without needing billions of dollars in venture capital. On this webinar, I'm going to teach you how to generate the highest quality seller lead by using the hook of an instant cash offer. Here's the thing. I uncovered exactly why companies like Open Door, OfferPad, and Zillow are willing to make an instant cash offer to the seller. You see, it's all about the submission. After reviewing the data, it's estimated that only 5% of the sellers who requested an instant cash offer on their home actually accept the offer, only 5%. But here's where the opportunity lies and why you saw Zillow jump into the instant cash offer game faster than a fish out of water and why you see Open Door and OfferPad now building residential resale brokerages focused on the traditional home sale. 45% of the sellers who request an instant cash offer go on to list their home on the MLS within six months. So, it turns out 
the instant cash offer request is the best seller lead of all time. And the opportunity to monetize, it doesn't stop there. You see, it is estimated that 60% of sellers are also purchasing a new home at the time they're selling. I buyers and their instant cash offer have changed the game and having a cash offer website, it'll become the new normal because see, here's the kicker. Even though a seller may request an instant cash offer, there is a very low chance they will accept it. But the really cool thing is this sellers are raising their hand and they're saying, hi, I'm selling my house soon. And as a real estate agent, don't you want to know who's planning on selling their home? Yes, of course we do. Now you just need leads, which brings me to secret number two, the iBuyer traffic hack, how to ethically steal customers currently going to the big iBuyer websites to do business with you and list more homes. So when we were creating our iBuyer site, I was worried I wouldn't be able to drive traffic to it and get seller leads. So I'm a huge study of Tony Robbins and he says success leaves clues and model others. So I decided it would be a good idea to model how iBuyers are marketing and advertising and hack how they get their traffic. This worked so well that we had sellers submitting their homes from for instant cash offers from all over the United States. So here's how you do it. This is the framework that I discovered. So step number one is you need to find out where iBuyers are buying homes. Step number two is you need to look up the iBuyers traffic sources. Then you need to identify the keywords that iBuyers are using. You need to study their ads and their ad structure and their ad copy. Then just create and deploy your Facebook and Google ad campaigns. So let's dive right in. The first thing that I did is figured out where the iBuyers are purchasing homes. And this gave me a good idea of the geographical areas to run my ads. For this, it was simple. I went into MLS and searched by company and looked at all of the homes that were sold by Open Door for the past year. And this gave me a great idea of where geographically I needed to run my ads. Then I needed to figure out how iBuyers are getting their traffic. So I used a tool called similarweb.com where you can look up any URL and see where they get their traffic. This here is Open Door. And as you'll see, Open Door gets most of their paid traffic from search and social media. I can then dive deeper and see what their top keywords are. Zillow, Open Door, Home Value, How Much Is My Home Worth, and For Sale by Owner. And then from social, I can see that the majority comes from Facebook. So now I know I need to focus on Google and Facebook as my main advertising hotspots. The next thing I do is identify the keywords iBuyers are using in their ads. I use the Google Keyword Planner in Google Ads. Here's opendoor.com and some of their top keywords are sell home quickly for cash, quick sell house companies, have to sell house, and we buy your house for cash reviews. Now, step number four is now I know geographically where to run my ads. I know what ad platforms to use and what the keywords are to use. Now I need to figure out what kind of scroll stopping images and ad copy to use. And did you know you can actually look up any ad that is running on a Facebook business page? Yeah, seriously, any ad. All you have to do is a little good old fashioned snooping. So if you go to any of these iBuyer Facebook pages, you can click on the page transparency, then ads library, then see all ads. Here is an example of express offers and the ads that they're running. Then you can click on any of these ads and see their ad copy, the picture, the call to action. So now you have all of this so you can create your ads and model what works. The next step, create and deploy your ads in Facebook and Google using the keywords, the ad structure that iBuyers are using. Now, secret number three, this is the luxury listing hack and how to get luxury listings using your cash offer software platform and build a prosperous pipeline. This one is the big enchilada. It's the one I'm most excited to share about because see, here's the thing. We were super surprised when we launched our cash offer software to get sellers of really nice homes to submit for cash offers. See, we had initially thought that maybe only sellers of starter homes and move up homes would request cash offers, but check this out. 
one of our very first submissions was a million dollar home with a tennis court. And it turns out this person hasn't even schooled yet, but they were curious because they were planning on moving in the next year or so. And they wanted to see what the cash offer would be. So when I say that the seller lead has been redefined, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So here's the super simple framework we use to generate luxury listings that you can model with your cash offer platform. You want to create specific luxury neighborhood cash offer domains. So actually name the domain with the neighborhood. There's a really luxury neighborhood in the Phoenix area called Circle G. So perhaps that would be www cash offers for circlegehomes.com. Then you're going to deploy targeted ad campaigns in Facebook, Google, and YouTube. You're going to get those instant cash offer requests. Then you're going to go for the appointment to explain their options. And you're going to list high-end inventory. It is that simple. 